Shall we test these today, Mark? Sounds like a plan. TaylorMade Sim and Mizuno ST200G. Oh. So you, have you hit either of these two, apart from your little warm up to make sure they're fit for you? You've no. not hit them really much before, have you? No, I hit the light one of this. Yeah, well you were forced to hit it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was, yeah. I'm forced to do a lot in here at the moment. I'm practicing again. <laughs> it's like, let's see what happens if he jumps off that cliff. Yeah, no, 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 oh, the leader's gone. Um, initial thoughts on looks then of the two. Um, out the two, um, I would say that I prefer the TaylorMade. Um, the TaylorMade always has good shop appeal. Look, yeah. They look good. Yeah, and I don't know what it is about the face of the Mizuno, but it's just a bit curvy down this bottom toe area, and it makes it look really on set and okay. lofted for me. Right. Whereas these are both set at nine degrees, and that is looking like... 12 degree compared to what the tailor made does look like a normal nine so that's the only thing that i would pick but definitely more appealing the tailor made out of the two so let me set up here then which one do you want to hit first matthew oh, i've gone um, in the wrong place i'm driving the show everybody today so wish me luck <laughs> uh, i'd like to do the mizuno first mizuno. it is slightly shorter actually as well i think than in mizuno. length yeah by how much half an inch maybe oh, so it should be slower Possibly. Uh, it's the G you've got there, isn't it? Yeah. G it is, sir. ST200G. You're on. Weights in the middle. Lovely. Right, you ready for this show? Of this driving? show is on the road. Show me. <laughs> Stripe show. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a drive, isn't oh, it? Oh, line ball start. Sound, feel, love, hate, not sure. Nothing offensive there. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite it's calm, quite, isn't it? I think I towed that slightly and it was quite a hard feel. Okay. Um, but nothing offensive there at all. So a bit of tech on the bottom there, isn't You've there? You've got two sliding weights, haven't you? Two sliding Heel and weights. Toe. The wave technology at the front. Yeah. Um, Increasing ball speeds like on missits. Yeah. yeah. Um, running bird logo with a do bit of... Do you like of, that? Yeah, I do like that. I think I've it looks really good. That. Yeah, I, I like that it never changes. You know, like, tightness, like switch theirs around They did that by stuff. mistake, did you know that? Did they? Yeah, so it was, it, it, they had their samples through and they, it was the wrong way around and they were like, yeah. that's on the wrong way around and then people were like, I actually quite like it like that. Ah. And like the old Callaway logo is always the same, isn't it? I, I just like it. I think it's a cool little logo and it sits on there nicely. And obviously with the weights on this one, if you think about it, you could put them both in the heel, both in the toe, move them both in it's separate tracks back and forth. There's plenty of options. It's like the tinkerer's dream, It isn't is, it? look at the neck options yeah. as well. Standard, low, upright, yeah. high, yeah. like wowzers. It's extensive. Yeah, tinker my club. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I hit one down the middle already. I think you have, sir. That's me done for the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. Switch clubs. <laughs> Carbony top as well, looking on the top. Yeah, that like, is a block ball. Yeah, does that a, make you, does that, does that not, you not get a different sound from that with this one? I, I would always, when I got a carbon top driver in my hand, I think, um, you know, this is going to sound a bit different, but it, I mean, it sounds quite loud. Still. Yeah, it still sounds loud. Yeah, loud I'm not the wrong see... word. It, I wouldn't say it's loud, but as in it's not dull, is it? Like, to be honest, like, I don't know what their last one sounded like. Yeah, but so if you I've compare got... it to, say, your Maverick, which is very, yeah, very dull in compared yeah. to this, isn't like, it? Like, that would, I would say, is more tingy yeah. compared to that. Yeah. Sounded yeah. decent. Like, that's what I'd expect that one to do. It's a little heel side. Yeah. Didn't quite catch it up. And you kind of want that from a driver, don't you, when you hit a club? If it does something that you don't expect, unless it's good, that's yeah. worrying, isn't it? Yeah, like, if yeah. you have a bad shot of in it, or what you feel is a bad shot, and that comes out. Actually, there's some, I always think there's some reassurance in that. Yeah, that wouldn't, um, it would make me more confident that wherever I strike it, it's gonna do what? I want it to. Yeah, and it makes brilliant. me feel like I'm in the driving street. Yeah, like, yeah. This is my, I'm controlling golf today, and that's what I want. Like or you I'm aim not. up the left and heal it, and yeah. it cuts. Brilliant. Do you think the amount of tinkering on this club is a positive or negative? I think it's a positive for fitters, so not having to have loads of heads. But how many people will look at that club and go, "It's just too much going on for me," 
compared to the ones who will go, oh, I love the fact I can change that, compared to the other set who might be just thinking, you know, I know it does loads, but I'm not a tinkerer, so I'm glad someone can set it up for me and then I can just leave it. Like, how tempting are all those buttons? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you want to know what buttons do sometimes, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I think if you're on tour and you're going from course to course, week to week, and you want these minute little adjustments, your mm. spin might be 200 revs high one week to the next, yeah. like, brilliant. But your average golfer, average golfer, um, for a fitter to set it up and you leave it. Is the best way. Isn't yeah. It? So I wonder if you're how a tinkerer, much of that. I think you would definitely be tempted. Yeah, like, like almost a, you'd, you'd be better off buying one that has less going yeah, on, wouldn't you? Because you could definitely fit yeah. their other models yeah. to do what you want to do. I mean, you'll to. get people who've got like five weights in the heel. Yeah. <laughs> this whole rack will be <laughs> five full Five weights up, and it? like a bit of a Rubik's Cube <laughs> stuck in there. <laughs> looks good a little necky again but it's similar to the last one that right side of fairway and not yeah. bad on numbers is it right let's compare that then up to the tailor made so we get a sliding bar at the front of that one sliding bar and at then the front. it's aerodynamics at the back the sldr in well it? i think it's an sldr with a wing at the back is it not i mean to me i look at that head and i've got the sldr head still in my office because it is a driver that changed things you yeah. know it, it was a big accidental move the story behind it is crazy, crazy. but <laughs> let's not go there now yeah. um and i look at that apart from the top i look at the bottom and i just see the driver I've, i reckon i could stick some stormtroopers on the bottom of my sldr and i'll turn it into a sim it like, would be called it would be called the empire sim or like the, the trooper sim like they had i make one <laughs> they had the wing on the neck once upon oh, a time and it's there. moved to there now isn't it yeah yeah i mean it's interesting bigger it, it, one yeah so obviously with the variability on where you're putting cgs on this one is considerably less than the mizuno yes which again back to that original point i was making is that that's a sell for lots of people yeah yeah because the tinkerer now has got a few like mm. Uh, the twist they've around the neck options and then they've got yeah. draw and fade and that's it isn't yeah. it yeah so. and draw and fade i mean you can use that term how you want you yeah. obviously understand that's, that yeah. right let me change the club matthew because i am driving the show it does have twist face remember twist face and these blue screws on the front yeah so they build it past tolerance and then they inject the thing that makes me giggle and bring it back and then they bring it back to yeah. the world to where everything else was <laughs> that's got to be but a bit what the dangerous. argument is and if you speak to people in engineering and i get it you know there is building past tolerance and bringing back the argument is saying that that is easier to do the control get better controls than trying to build two tolerance right because it's a process yeah yeah that in theory mean, that yeah. has got less room for error yeah compared to the process of building the face, milling the whole face or whatever they yeah. do to the face and getting that right every time. That it's easier just to build them over and then it's- you're, Chuck they, a load of stuff in and bring it back. Yeah. That, that does make sense. Of course sense, it does. Actually, yeah. you, you wouldn't cut yeah. a worktop no. for your kitchen the exact size or under. You'd like be the exact size. Z if I'm gonna get it wrong, go slightly over knowing yeah. I could sand it and then it fits yeah. in. Yeah. It, which in theory is what they're saying they're doing with that club. This isn't as deep. Like, this is a lot shallower than that, isn't it? It's squished it's out, isn't noticeable. it? It's stood on to sort of give it that, you know, that 4cc yeah. look down. So when you put them on by the ball, do yes. you then get what feels like a bigger head or not? Um, the Mizuno... Even though they're both 4cc. Four four yeah, cc, cc, cc. like... I wouldn't say, like, when you say bigger, I think Thought more plane. like, yeah, longer and deeper. It, yeah, that's what I mean, sorry. Um, no. Okay. But definitely, like, height of T. Like, I'm putting that Mizuno and it's perfect. I'm putting this down, I'm thinking, cool. You might like move sky. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucky they put that white bar on yeah, the top Yeah, exactly, there, yeah. <laughs> we'll be painting that later on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, definitely a difference in the depth of those two clubs. And obviously changeable neck on sim. Yep. And this is the one with the weight which is low and back. And then like you say, you get the sliding bar at the front to do whatever you want to tinker with. Yes. Let's hit it. And I, I mean, the top of it looks classy, does it not? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say it's more out there than their previous 
like the carbony the look gray is carbon quite is quite aggressive yeah, isn't it yeah in a um, nice way though i like i've always liked the look of air drivers yeah yeah it actually don't know if i'm allowed to say this but it sits like the maverick at the back does it there's a gap at the back where they're obviously doing the aerodynamics right. too yeah 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 and this bit looks like it's sitting off the ground a lot which you um, like don't like not fussed well i'm not fussed about that if it produces the right numbers then it's all good <laughs> oh god <laughs> can i retake that one no like way. that was all wrong <laughs> like everything was wrong about that <laughs> we can disable it yeah i am not getting rid of that in fact i might save that for my phone <laughs> that's embarrassing <laughs> that's proper should we look at it now <laughs> yeah go on yeah most comments down below how far right do you reckon that is <laughs> that's over 100 right <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, that's uh, bad. Where are oh we? no, only 85. 80, where are you seeing? I'm not seeing right. it. Um, right in the middle, next to the oh, port. Sorry, yeah. I was, yeah, here we go. 85.6 yards right. Yeah. Two, three, not your longest hit, sir, <laughs> and a little bit spinny. That is a rubbish golf club, isn't it? <laughs> what I like is someone, I think it's in, of someone that. in the comments is now <laughs> posting saying, that's a, like, you know, you hit one shot of it. I know it's a joke. <laughs> you can't laugh at that. Like, look at it. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, go on. Look <laughs> at a dot on the screen. On the <laughs> what are you doing over there? What's so funny is that you hit them on the course because that is that's the a bird. 16th fairway yeah, and that's we're playing birdie. 14th. Yeah, that's birdie. Yeah. All day long, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, go on, write in the comments. Matt's rubbish. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Brilliant. Club reviews have never got bad. Remember, we're just pushing the ball nice and forward enough. Yeah, that's fine. Well. I've done that. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that. I think it's that extra half an inch I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> Oof, right. Concentrate. Yeah, good shot. Like that. Again, sound. Similar in my ears. It's yes. very similar. I'm not hearing any difference no. in those two. Similar. More a, definitely more of a ting. It's a ting for a carbon yeah. looking aggressive yeah, carbon yeah. club. Like you say, it's a ting. I would expect it to be duller. Yeah. Oh dear. Nothing dull about that. That's Look good. at that up there. Like if I do though one of those, like I proper panic straight yeah. off the bat. <laughs> It's like do I look wheel. up or do I just walk to the buggy? Like that is all wrong. <laughs> oh no! Oh goodness! I hit that. Wrong. I can't stop. It's, it's going. Definitely, that is a no column shot, isn't it? We should create that field. We should. We need another field, don't we? On the on the numbers. Yeah, yeah just add nope. our own one. Yeah. <laughs> Disable, delete, nope. or nope it. Yeah, that's a nope. That, that was good. That was a bit toey as well. That's, so that's perfect. Interesting. Good drive. Look at it go. Lovely. Mm. There's the line look. Yeah, hello again, line. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> There's another good one, I reckon. Yeah, that's a good yeah. drive. Who would have thought hitting it out the middle helps? I know. It For this tech. Yeah. You'd it, never have thought that just hitting it out in the middle with some level of delivery would make you hit better shots than the one that nearly went in the water on a range that I didn't even know there was water on the right. <laughs> Is there water on the right? Yeah, there? look, you can see it. Right. When your ball's in the air going that way, you really see it. <laughs> right, one more, and let's have a look how they're comparing. If you were to pick now without looking at the numbers, I presume it's a tailor made because of the looks. Yeah, I would basically start all of my picking over looks. Feel and, and hitting, you wouldn't choose oh, like those two? You could choose both? I couldn't pick between the two. Yeah. I would say they're very similar. Yeah. Sound, feel, everything is, like if I hit one and didn't know which one it was, wouldn't have a clue. I wonder how much as well people's buying premise will come down to how, I mean, it obviously does, like TaylorMade are not doing research. They're studying what their consumers like. Yeah. And it's no, it's not a coincidence or just someone's whim that they want their club to look as good as that looks. No. Where I always think with Mizuno, they like pay, they come more from function, and then looks happen and then are slightly persuaded. Yeah. I honestly feel a little bit more like TaylorMade come from looks back. Back. Yeah. 
Exactly, yeah. I'm not saying it doesn't function, because you'll see from the numbers it does. I'm just saying the agendas, I think, of how the club ends up looking are in a slightly different order. It's going to rub that toe strike off. <laughs> Putting me off a little bit. <laughs> Remembering oh, that oh, right I'm ball. saving that to my Instagram yeah. for a daily upload. It's <laughs> going up tonight, that one, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you're making me laugh. <laughs> Another good one. Another good one. Found it. Yeah, line yeah, has been found. Just that one loose one, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, we've got, we've got a disable button, Matt. We're, we're on it. <laughs> Hit it, bro. <laughs> right, should we crunch time the numbers then, shall we? Crunch time. Uh, 264 with the Mizuno, 266 with the Sim. Yes. 32 peak height, 32 peak height. Uh, offline, averaging 33. Yep. You chucked a few rights in there, good straight one, and then three big rights. 27 is going to hit something. Mm -hmm. These two are in the rough. You had your Brammer yeah. in the sim. Yeah. And then a 30, and then you did start to find a rhythm. Yeah. Because you actually got some lefts in there. Yeah. So twist face, the way it sits, you finding a rhythm as you go through the test. The student would tell you what they think. I always think they found. Yeah. Um, spin two five with the Mizuno coming down to two three with the Sim. Mm -hmm. So slightly less spinning. Um, high. You had two two eights and two seven and a one eight. So this really does show for me you. Yes. Like, can we hit more? Can we stabilise it around two five to two hundred two thousand? Mm -hmm. Right, I would argue these three are a bit high, and then this one's a bit low but good, which is why you get a max at 270. 270 yeah. Then when you got your equivalent spinning in the sim, 1.8, you got it out at 277, um, 26 height, a little bit lower. Yeah. Um, launch the fraction Ball there. Ball speed it was, was a lot quicker. Ball so speed considerably better because better you, strike. Yeah, you did get considerably better strike. So 1.56 yeah. to 1.5, I mean the average is the same. Yeah. Which is quite interesting, but you did peak more. Even with that, that dodgy one in there, though, yeah, that is, absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. Um, launching at 11 and launching at 12, I would argue that those two are performing so similar with your irregularities in there. Yeah. Wouldn't you? I would, yeah. Um, um, I which, just. It is quite interesting, I think, that. Oh, I was just looking at that. Go on. That. Yeah. Um, Make your point. I was just going to treat you to something, but go on. <laughs> oh, God. Shot list. Um, what was interesting, Matthew? Um, I can't remember now. <laughs> something about ball speed and strike. Um, Here you go. Look. They were the same ball speed, weren't they? Yeah, you got higher with Sim on your top end. I did. But they averaged the same. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Holy moly. That's the, there's the, is there's the wall of it. Oh yeah, I just need an See? extra 50 on that yeah. strike. I do feel a little bit like that isn't a fair camera Technically, angle. Technically, that has it the fairway. That's the short grass, isn't it? Technically, that is, yeah. If you didn't have twist face on that, you'd have hit this tree here, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that, I, that's the rightest I've ever yeah. hit it. On One that. more. Oh, Why you <laughs> say that? Obviously, we've got a lot of videos out there that people could watch where they might. I don't think I've ever been that close to the oh, semi on the right. I there. think Rory would disagree with that because he studies your blocks because obviously he, he, he had, yeah. suffers from the same <laughs> problem. Um, so yeah, I think let's just go back to your numbers for you. Sorry, Matt. I That's just, okay. I no, I like the ribbing. <laughs> <laughs> please, please comment in the in the uh, comment section down below. Yeah. If you have seen a worse one by me. <laughs> so, I mean, they're really similar, aren't they? You would, yeah. I mean, if I was selling you this club, I would be pushing you more towards Sim. Yeah. Because I would hang on to these numbers, like 201, but I sorry. I could totally get those numbers out of Mizuno by striking it better. Totally. That Mizuno is not struck as well as those bottom two or three there. Yeah. And it's still producing similar ball speeds, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's quite good. Really good. Yeah. I mean, and that, and I say it in every video. You know, Taylor May don't make bad drivers. They make wild claims, in my opinion, but they make good products. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a shame they have to hide behind this facade of craziness. Mm -hmm. um, but they know their strategy, and good luck to them. Two eight one is a good drive. Yeah, it's, it's a good it's drive. It's eleven yeah. yards further than anything with a Mizuno. 
Nothing uh, my maverick wouldn't do, though. No. <laughs> Had to throw that in there, didn't he? Is it? Well, we'll do that. Put comments down below if you want to see Matt hitting it in the water on the range, or if you want to see him do the Maverick v the Sim. Maverick v Sim. I will be hitting again soon as well. I've just got a little bit of an injury, which I'm going to wait for. So Matt. What's quite funny about that is the video last week. You said, I know. I don't want to go. There. I know. I don't want to go and injure myself. And I have. And you. <laughs> Um, thanks for watching everybody. That was a compare with Matthew. I think yeah. there's only one way really to play this video out. Um, <laughs> and I think it was a lovely test. You have to choose uh, now which one you're choosing. Uh, I'll go tailor-made over looks. Sound, feel, exactly the same in my ears and hands. I would just pick on the looks. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this. Oh, what a view. That is the view. Because I'm stood in the crowd thinking, that's landing on my head. <laughs> I've shouted for that. I, I'm people... at the burger bar ordering a burger, and <laughs> I'm thinking, what? why are people shouting a miles from the course? <laughs> We've shouted on 14, and people on 16 need to be wary, not, <laughs> not the ones on 14.